Hey everyone, one of the shorter articles on Wikipedia is the page listing Russian presidents. It's only got four entries on it and two of them are the same guy. At the time of writing, there's the same number of Russian presidents alive today as there are members of the Beatles. Vladimir Putin is no fool on the hill, though he's very aware that he's slowly running out of constitutional loopholes to keep him in power, so he's decided to play the classic autocracy play of convincing people that he should be able to rewrite that constitution, because you can trust him not to be too sneaky, it's not as if he was an ex-KGB spymaster or something. Of course, this is to all intents and purposes up there at the political level of erecting gold statues of yourself, redesigning the nation's calendar, thinking that the public will simply forget about Brexit, or turning up to formal events in a suit and leopard skin hat combo like that madman from Zaire, you know, the guy who killed all the Tutsis and spent the country's wealth to get Muhammad Ali to fight a boxing match there when he could have saved everyone some trouble and just phoned up the pay-per-view TV company with a credit card to hand. Russia, though, is still technically a democracy, though Putin has worked to the letter of the law rather than the intent. Years ago, he spent two four-year elected terms before he had to legally stand down, so he got his friend Dmitry to be the figurehead for an interim four period before he could come back for two more consecutive terms, although the one thing that Dmitry did do was allow the term limits to be changed up to six years, meaning that Vlad could come back for 12 more years, so he'll be in office until 2024. That's the year that sci-fi film Highlander 2 The Quickening is set in, and much like that TV and film franchise, Vladimir wants more and more and more sequels, so therefore we reach the question of how his constitutional rewrite will go, and he assures us that we can trust him, but I'd personally place more faith in someone electing Michael Barrymore to be a lifeguard. On the other hand, at least he does know what level of contempt to hold those in Brussels, which is more than could be said of most of the leaders the UK has seen in the past 19 years. And he's done more to put Salisbury on the international map than the English Tourism Board ever did. Anyway, see you next week. If you like, please click subscribe.